All right, boys, today, yeah, dude, Netmarble has given us a bait banner, and it's like no other. Obviously, I told you the flex tape always is there. Flex tape is here. They literally just slapped him on um, to bait it, and they brought out a new Sariel unit. Today, we're going to talk about it. A lot to go over. I hope you guys are ready for it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Let's jump straight into it. So first, if you were wondering, this is Sariel. Yes, it is not a light unit, you may, have, uh, you may be wondering, but... I'm guessing they're not gonna give you a new light Sariel just yet because they wanna get the other one out real quick. They're like, all right, we have the light attribute coming up soon. Before we get out, um, you know, they wanna make an extra light Sariel. Um, so they will give you a green Sariel right now, which isn't bad. I believe the one that in the story was green. I could be wrong about that. Don't don't uh, insult me if I was, but this is what the Sariel unit does look like. Um, and I went through and read the passive real quick. Let me check this real quick. I think it is pretty good. It is pretty good. So. Let's go over it. Again, this is passive, broken down each way. So it's going to be passive, um, attack one, attack two, and then, you know, ultimate. So here we go. It says each time um, you use a skill, it grants all enemies um, an effect that reduces the critical chance by 3% and their critical damage by 8% for two turns up to five times. That is his grace, actually. There you go. Then this passive is for each battlefield buff effect, the critical damage of allies for Archangels um, characters are increased by 8% up to five times. We have skill one right here. Inflicts 30, uh, was it 300% of uh, attack power on all enemies with non-critical cutting damage. Cutting is 75% additional damage. Critical damage, um, what is it, minus 100% it says. We also have this as the, um, the next skill. It says for two turns, it deals 60% more damage and is ready to provoke enemies. When attacked, it reduces damage power by 60% and counterattacks to deal 450% of its attack power. Uh, what is it? Uh, it says uh, this part is not translated properly, so I can't read that. But it's, um, what is it? The final thing, which is the ultimate. It's an attack on all ultimate. Inflicts, uh, what is it? Control damage of 300% to all enemies. Suppression, uh, what is it? Damage given to each stance effect on you, plus 40%. There you go. Now, already, um, I've seen a lot of people talking about this, and they're saying this is not the Sariel they wanted. Um, there is one more Sariel later down the line. I think you know about that Sariel. That is the one everybody um, really wants. Why? You'll find out. But we also have this as the ultimate. Again, it is a new name Sariel. So remember, with that new ultimate, new costumes, new things to invest in, realize that now just so you are aware. But yes, that is what it looks like. Not bad at all. Really, nothing special there. Just, yeah, that's it. But yes, this is what the new unit looks like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. It has a stance and a taunt like that. So, hey, we'll see how this goes. AoE Ultimate, which does look pretty cool. Um, not a light unit, though. So remember, probably down the line, they will give you a light unit for Sariel. They just don't want to do it right now because, you know, obviously, they want to get out another one real quick. Then maybe even a blue one. Then they'll give you a light one. So I'm guessing that is the reason they didn't go and drop a light one. Currently, we have a light attribute. Um, but they are saving that for a festival. So does that mean that Liz really is your light festival? It, that That's a very high chance. They didn't go and give it to you for a character like Sariel. They probably are saving that for a festival. And given Liz would make sense for the first one, she will be your light festival. So this gives a little bit more of a like, confirmation on that. So go and cry. I will join you. But we do have the banner, and this is why it's the biggest bait ever. Guess who's back on a banner? This means there is something next, and I was correct about that. Is it going to be a collab? Is it going to be a festival? Maybe Ragnarok, like the most broken Ragnarok unit ever? There is something coming, and um, again, you only know. If you've played this game since day one, you know whenever they release Halloween Gother, it's always bait before something big. Really, it always is. Um, so just realize that it may be a collab next. It may be something big next. There is, a, dude, they don't bring, you do not just bring back, um, what is it, Matrona or Paladin Gother for no reason other than baiting somebody. Like, this is not Halloween time. Currently, we're in freaking January. Um, so they did bring them out. That's, that's nice bait. We also have Lilia Desire there. We have the Easton, I think the newest Easton, I think. I have no idea. We have Hauser, Excalibur Arthur, Sora, what is it, Nanashi on this banner as well. You have Sigurd, you have Brunhild. And you have the uh, Rainer Rock DM. This is a very spicy banner for so many people um, that have skipped banners in a row with Brunhild or Sigurd. Then you have the two Halloween units on here. Then you have, what is it, Excalibur Arthur to build that team up. Um, the Rainer Rock DM. Then the main unit. That's a very spicy banner. So, um, I don't know. But overall, again, I didn't go over his, uh, his kit that much. But it's very good. It's going to be definitely good for Archangels. Given the passive is restricted to that, um, I think you mainly now have to run him on Archangel teams. 
Um, but again, it's basic 600 mana, that's everything there. Then we have, I think, just basic details that go over. None of the tabs really open because of the site's having problems. We also have this. Um, for some reason, it says this. If you purchase set one, you can get an additional 30 gems free of charge. Set two is a costume set only. Uh, and that's just basic stuff like it always was. Okay, moving down some more. We have this stuff over here. Expanded the number of equipment that can be um, disassembled. Not bad. Increase the maximum number of slots for one reinforced stone. That's very good. Added artifact cards um, with packs two chapter clear rewards. Pretty good. Change the skip system for the production of special moves uh, in the skill preview. Okay. Change the scroll order of affection rewards. Improved skill preview of character list. Improve the phenomenon that scroll is reset. So just basic improvements over here, which aren't that bad. And we have a part two to the costume sale, kind of, where it, it adds these new, um, new costumes on sale. The old ones. Adds them back. You know what I mean? So... We have the school set, I think, in the middle, coming back. We have the other school set coming back, and we have that uh, Dark Knight set. I, I forget what it was called, but that's also coming back, and they all will be on sale for 20 gems each. Now, some of them are worth it. I'll be telling you now, the Arch Angel set is very good, so go check that out. But again, realize that all of your Sariel costumes will not work for this Sariel. So, um, yeah, that's going to be pretty fun. And also, I forgot to mention it, and I just realized this in my head. I didn't say it, but yeah, Sariel is a stance um, card with a taunt yes so i don't know but we'll see moving up we have this event over here which is the goal achievement missions you do all this stuff which is just i guess boosted dailies in a way kind of just extra gems on the day you do all this stuff over here then we have all this over here which again everything ends on the 27th right when the next banner is due um to drop you have all this over here so free multi and then a free um full star awakening token we have the New Year Solgris Large Reward Dungeon also active, but this one does not give you the gem. A new type of event over here, which if you've played um, games like this, you understand what this kind of is. That is also active. Gives some decent rewards over here and a costume set for each of these characters. Um, so that's pretty good. These three are returning. The event Super Boss Battle. I think if you miss these costumes, you can now get them from the Sacred uh, or like the Final Boss um, Shop. So they're there. More gems, which is not bad. This over here, again, Netmarble's doing really well with all these gems. Um, because recently they haven't done final bosses for a while. Then we got back to back um, Jericho in this one. So pretty good. Pretty good. Daily, uh, what is it? Uh, this is increased now to three gems there. So each time it's increased. So just check that out. We then have the uh, victory box special event. That's also there. Lucky bag event is also this. Um, which has a possibility to get you all of this stuff. With a 5% chance at 25 gems. Okay. Okay, not, not bad, not bad. We then have this over here. We then have this over here, which is the, uh, what is it? Just the combat event. But yeah, that seems to be the end of the patch notes. That's everything. So a new green Sariel, which looks, you know, it looks pretty good. Definitely um, for Archangels. Um, it's, this is bait. This is 100% bait. Just just so you know, this is this is a billion percent bait. A counter Sariel, it looks insane. We'll see how it uh, drops tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this, this is bait. You have Halloween units on this banner. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have fun.